what Powell was saying was if anyone was worried that the Fed was going to change its tune in a Biden administration compared to what it did in the Trump administration, don't worry. They're going to stay low. They're going to stay low for a long time. And he went out of his way over and over, both in the statement and then in the questioning, to push back on the idea that they were worried at all about inflation. And he kept pointing to Europe and Japan, regions that have gone through low periods of deflation. He said, we are not going to worry about inflation in the U.S. until we get above that 2% inflation rate for a long period of time. And that's a change, as you know, in longstanding Fed policy. So he was signaling to the markets and really the entire global economy is this is going to remain accommodative. We are not worried about inflation. We have tools yet to deploy, even though they have the bond purchasing and the QE going at 120 billion a month, they could do more if they're needed. And he's very happy right now about what's going on on the fiscal side because he feels like monetary policy isn't in the game alone. That's what he was worried about a few months ago. And given the package that passed in December and the proposal now in front of Congress, he knows he has a team player. And now he has an ally with Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. So you could see some relief in Jay Powell today. There have been concerns about the stimulus package, of course, $1.9 trillion that the Biden administration is proposing, that it perhaps won't get Republican support to be $1.9 trillion. What's your read on what we'll see take place on Capitol Hill? And will the final figure be lower than $1.9 trillion? And what will that mean to economic growth? And will it force the Fed to stay lower for longer? You know, it's a great question, and this is what everyone in Washington is talking about right now. You know, the thing with legislation in Congress is it's always not going to happen until it happens. And Biden knows this. You know, he's been a legislator for a long time in the Senate. It's not going to end up being $1.9 trillion. There's going to be a negotiation. There's going to be things that come out of the package, other things that come in. But there are enough Republicans who recognize there has to be something done, especially on the vaccine front. And, of course, this is what Powell emphasized in his statement. So something is going to get done. What's the number going to be? Is it going to be over a trillion? Will some of Biden's ambitions, like the $15 minimum wage, get in there? We'll see. But it's a process, and they're really looking at a March deadline here because the unemployment extension runs out in mid-March, although the way the system works in the U.S., you really need to get a deal done by the end of February to make sure there's no lapse in payments. So we have a month of pretty serious negotiations ahead.